Well, it's great to be home. It really is. Greg Schiano got the hero's welcome at the place where he had his biggest head coaching moments. After a torturous fortnight of negotiations that seemed off until boosters and fans and former players raised a ruckus to force a deal to get done, today even the governor showed up to welcome him. We all came together and we are all here today under a common belief that a successful Big Ten football program will be a tremendous source of pride for Rutgers University. Rutgers University, in turn, is a tremendous source of pride for our entire state. The restoration of that pride won't come cheap. Shiano, most recently defensive coordinator at Ohio State, is going to make $32 million over eight years on a contract that includes generous performance bonuses, country club membership, and use of a private jet for recruiting trips. To all our loyal fans, alumni, and supporters who displayed their passion throughout this process, sometimes quite colorfully, it is New Jersey after all, thank you. Uh, your enthusiasm and your passion has been rewarded. But not everyone was spiking the football today. The union representing faculty complained that the university was once again putting athletics ahead of academics or even basic student needs. We have 1,200 medical faculty working without a contract right now. We have 500 postdocs that make it a median of $48,500 $48, a year working without a contract right now. 37% of our undergrads are food insecure. They could take some of this money and not raise tuition one or two years or for a while and put a freeze on tuition, which other universities around the country have done. That would be a great use of money, I think. You're not a research and teaching university like Rutgers, which is among the very best in the country uh, without enormous resources. You're not in the Big Ten without a resource commitment like that uh, to compete at that level, not just in football, but certainly in football. Uh, it's not either or when you're at that level. Despite near legendary status here at the State University, Greg Schiano's record outside of the state has been less than stellar. Like in Tampa Bay, where he led the Buccaneers to an 11-21 and record. He had a bit more success as defensive coordinator at Ohio State, but never reached the acclaim he got in Piscataway. When you're humbled a little bit, you, you really reflect on... You know, where could I have been better? I always think when, when things don't go right, you need to look at your first, you know, in the mirror first. And what did the new coach think of the criticism from New Jersey's previous governor, who called Shiano an unemployed football coach looking for taxpayers to pay for his private air travel? Feeling welcome? I am. Yeah, I am welcome. Look, Chris and I, we go back a long way, and we're, we're fine. I, I take no offense. For all the hoopla surrounding Shiano's return, his record over his first tenure here was a pretty pedestrian 68 and 67, 28 and 48 in conference games. His teams did, however, go to six bowl games with a 5 and 1 record. But for a team that's just completed a 2 and 10 season, Shiano's return is cause for hope, if not celebration. In Piscataway, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.